Now, All Division right. Two, a couple of games that stand out. Hebron, Cedar Hill. Um, you know, I like what Cedar Hill's done this year. They, they've got a, a pretty good quarterback in McMillan. They've got two running backs, so they, they stay fairly balanced, although they like to run the ball more than they throw it. Um, Hebron has given up in, in, in games against Capel and Allen. They've given up a lot of rushing yards. I think that's Cedar Hill's formula this week. Let's come in. Let's run the football on them. I see Cedar Hill beating Hebron. How about you? I'm going to go with Hebron on this one simply because, I, the one, there's a great matchup. It may be the best matchup in the state. Demarcus Lodge, uh, Jamal Adams is a terrific individual matchup. If they, you know, Jamal's a safety, he'll get him sometimes. Sure. Uh, but the two teams are terrific talent. Uh, they're they're hard hitting teams. Physical, and, yeah. You know, Hebron's bring the woods and Cedar Hills turn the horns loose. So I mean, that's the kind, they have those slogans. Right. Uh, I'm not that high on Cedar Hills quarterback. He's he, he's okay. He's just not that accurate. So I think Hebron's defensive pressure will be enough to make him a little more accurate. And Hebron's got several running backs, uh, and Jamal Adams can make a play at a receiver. So I'm going to go with uh, Hebron. I think Carson Prophet, their quarterback, kind of breaks out a little bit in this okay. game. Denton Ryan, Waco Midway, you talked a minute ago about a, a team having just a little magic over there with, with, with uh, Mansfield Timberview. Denton Ryan's that team to me. They they seem – Joey Florence has been there a long time. They know how to win in the playoffs. Uh, Midway's got a good football team, but I, I see Denton Ryan getting past them and then playing San Angelo Central, and, and, and that's going to be a great matchup down the line. Your thoughts on that game? I, I really like Ryan as well. I actually thought they might pull off some upsets in that district with Hebron, Capel. Mm -hmm. Uh, but they're used to playing those type of physical teams. I also think there's a little bit of a dynamic at Ryan, because if you haven't covered this as long as we have, in the early 2000s, Denton Ryan was the magical no, they team. Were. They were terrific, and now it's kind of Denton Geyer. Denton Geyer won state title last year. They played against Cibolo Steel a couple years ago, and there's, you know, you work hard no matter what, but but I think that's given Ryan a little bit of an edge of hey, we're don't forget about us. Yeah, don't forget about us. We're over here and we play pretty good football too. And I, that small little edge when you're tired in the fourth quarter can make a difference. Absolutely. Now another game that I want to discuss with you, and it's not a game that I think will be that close. Longview and McKinney Boyd. You know, Longview, we, we talked about it last week, they lost the opening game to a very good Capel team, and they've gone 10-0 and since. And this is a team with a lot of speed. we got some Division One kids, particularly on, on the defensive side of the ball. They said coming into the year, best offensive line we've had in a while. And three running backs that are sub-4-4 four, four kids. This, I think this Longview team is, is one to watch the rest of the way. They, uh, they, they could definitely win a state title in Longview. And they're always good, but you know, it's been a it's been a while. I don't know exactly when their last state title was. You know, they've been good a long time, but you know, is a long time. Bobby Taylor has played in the NFL played at Notre Dame and played in the NFL right. and retired. Right. So Longview needs kind of a new generation of stars and, and this could very well be the team. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I think their defensive end, Zakovon Henderson, is getting pretty close to committing. He was an early TCU commit, right. uh, hurt for part of the year. And that's that's a big story that kind of keeps the profile uh, or, you know, just sort of creates a little more buzz and energy, which I think is a factor in all this. I, I do too. And I think their defense is built to, to win against those spread teams because, you know, in, in spring – they weren't happy with the way it was, with, with the direction it was going, and they inserted Deontay Wall at, at, at the weak side linebacker. He's a small kid, you know, 5'7", 160 pounds, but he can run like crazy. And, and I think he's been vital to their defense. He's a great matchup for them because he can go out and, and, and cover slot receivers. He's, mm -hmm. a, he's a kid that, that you can't get your hands on to block him, even though he's small. So I, I really think this team's built to play a while, and, and it's going to be fun to watch them yeah. as they go forward. Uh, 